Guys, I might have messed up my car. Yo, what's up everyone? All right, so I know it's been a while since I've actually recorded, so that kind of feels, feels good, yet at the same time, feels kind of weird. But right now, I'm about to head over to the store to grab some, um, some wax for my car, so I can actually, because I'm planning to clean my engine today. So I'm gonna head over to the shop right now, not the shop, the store, to grab some cleaning materials. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so, Apparently, Walmart does not have the stuff that I want or I need. So we are here over at O'Reilly's. So I'm gonna go check in there if they also have it. If not, then I don't know. Maybe, maybe Home Depot. I don't know. That's the last option. But I do have a, a high, high. Like I'm pretty confident that the O'Reilly's will have it. So let's go check out if they do. After this, I'm gonna head on over to my sister's place to go grab the laptop so I can actually edit this whole video why is there a glare on the camera but yeah so I am gonna be training today it's gonna be leg day so that should be fun and I know that I barely and hardly record any leg day videos for you guys so I'll try my very best to record today's leg day um Alex is gonna be gone with me too so he, he can record for me and what else what else oh right just in case you're wondering this car is actually manual tr uh, transmission so it's gonna be very hard for me to record while driving from now on but although I do on my phone have a, a little metal piece behind the little cover and I can just connect my or attach my phone to this little um magnetic thing that's on my uh on my dash so I can try to figure something out if I do record on my phone while I'm driving then I'm gonna have to turn like use the uh, the front ca camera which it is, which isn't as good as the actual camera on the back of the phone but yeah with that being said let's head on in to O'Reilly's and see if they have any of the stuff that I need okay so we are finally back home I was actually able to find the stuff that I need over at O'Reilly's although I do feel like it, was, it could have been more cheap over at Walmart, which they don't have. That's okay. But Alex and I are about to head on over to Le Gymnasio to go train some Lego. No, that was not funny, Alex. Trip. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go eat some food quickly before we head out. So I'll catch you guys over at the gym. All right, what's up guys? All right, so my car is still there. I'm still here and it's been an hour already ever since that last clip, yes, just saw. And that's because I took a nap, about an hour nap. And I have not even gotten started with the engine cleaning and that was because not that I don't, I didn't, uh, not that I forgot about it. But because I was driving my car why, uh, to go shop for those little tools or those materials, which I should have not done it and drove maybe this truck or someone else's car so that my car can actually cool down. But that's okay. I'm gonna leave my car, sit right there while I'm, I go to the gym. That way, not only the car will cool down, but this weather will cool down as well. So, let's get to the gym. All right, we're definitely here now. Alex and I are stretching out for our leg day today. We're gonna start off like the usual squats, of course. You can't skip that. And then move on to some accessory movements. Well, lately I've actually been just training like more of a hypertrophy kind of training, um, higher reps and higher, higher sets, right? But, Today, we're gonna be doing the same thing. <laughs> no, for real though. I've been just training more hypertrophy because this guy is, has finally joined me in here. Let me focus. So that's pretty dope, man. Like, I'm glad that this guy is actually in here now. So, very first movement, I really like to hit my calves before I actually do my leg day just because I feel like my calves are really good. How's it going, brother? How you doing? So I feel like my calves are just as, not as, 
um, strong later in the day because work out because my life would be too fatigued out for cats. So I like to just focus on cats first, get that over with, and then get on to my squat. So let's get some cats. A little tip when you're doing this movement, in order for you to feel a better, better stretch on the very bottom, I like to cave in my knees, so it's like this. You can feel a better stretch on the very bottom. Boom, squeeze up. Stretch. Up. Stretch. Up. We are gonna start off our actual workout with some squats. So, we're gonna do three sets of warm ups and then another three sets of our working sets. Three sets of warm up? God, three sets of warm up. Three sets of working sets. Six reps. I saw. So, let's get it. Bet y'all can do the same thing. Alex, what are you about to do right now? Oh, lift this thing up. Lightweight. Lightweight, how much is this? This is, this is 245 right here. Easy. Easy, you think it's easy? Easy. Right, let's get it home, boy. Alright, Alex, so what did you just do? Well, I just lifted one what? Two. Two, two, two what? 245. 245. Dang. Strong boy. <laughs> right, so, for our next movement, we're gonna be doing some leg presses right now. Um, we're gonna go for three sets of 12. And I'm just gonna really stay light on these ones. Like I told you guys, I've been going more push be training kind of. So, 225, it's a pretty decent way for me to. Uh, Pretty decent way for me to get a good pump, yet get my reps in. So let's get it. There you go, homeboy. And thumbs up if you like Alex. And you guys want to see more of Alex. So, likes me. let's get it. Let's get back to this workout. All right, Alex, pick which one? See the hamstring curls or laying down hamstring curls? That one, you like that one? All right. Not, not the most tiring one, right? You've had worse? <laughs> okay, but let's head on right now. On three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Woo. As you can see, it's kind of like getting dark out. The sun's already gone. Right now is like the perfect time to literally do it right now. 
But the only thing is that the sun and the like, it just the day is gonna go like night. It's gonna night time's coming now. By the time I'm done, it's probably gonna be around like 10 or 11 or so. So I'm just gonna wait until like tomorrow morning and then wake up and then do it. But leg day was great. So this video is not gonna end here, but we will definitely come back tomorrow out here to clean my silica. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's up everyone? As you can see, I'm already out here working on my car. It's the next day already from the last clip you guys saw. I've already covered up most of the parts, wiring that are showing. And I thought that like might, might as well just take out the whole air intake so that I have more space to work on. Honestly, like I don't do not know what the heck I'm doing right now. <laughs> but all I know is that covered up all cover up all the wirings that are exposed and try not to get it super soaked like all the whole like the whole engine super soaked but other than that we should be fine my dad actually think it's a bad idea of me doing this i also think it's a bad idea but i actually want to give it a shot you know because hey it's all a learning process so i'm gonna give it a, i'm gonna give it a shot see if, how everything goes i'll check in with you guys in a bit What's up guys? Okay, so it's been 20 minutes um, since I started and now the outer side of the engine is a little bit cleaner than it was before and I think you guys might have seen it a little bit from earlier but um, let me show you guys how it looks like right now. So it's definitely cleaner than it was when I started. We're pretty much set with the outer spots of the engine. So after cleaning a little bit of the edges, I'm gonna lift up the trash bag and get on with it with the engine, which should be fine. It's a four cylinder uh, engine. So that shouldn't be too hard. I'm honestly just trying to get out of this heat right now because I'm sweating. I hadn't eaten anything this morning. So let's get on with it and get this over with. All right, so it's been about an hour since I was last out here um, wiping down the, the engine and all that. So I was actually done. I was able to actually like wash the engine, uh, not with water, but with like the uh, degreasers. And all I did was apply some uh, degreaser on there, scrape it off, um, scrape it down, and then kind of wipe it off instead of rinsing it. I kind of just wiped it off. And now I was uh, I just got done putting back the air fil filter back onto the engine. Now I'm about to spray on some trim shine onto everything on here to make it look more shiny. So let's get on with it. finally done so as you can see it's definitely cleaner than it was before apparently there's been a few scratches on uh, the on the engine cover so that's kind of like a bummer but still it still looks a whole lot better now um, except these little metal pieces right here these little motors because I couldn't get in there or get it wet but yeah so that's pretty much it I'm gonna leave it out sit out here for a few more hours just to let it dry up and then I'll put back the batteries Hopefully the car turns on, because if it doesn't, then I'm fucked. Guys, I might have messed up my car. 
All right, so what happened was, when I took out my air filter, I did not hear anything drop or anything falls off, uh, fall off at all, right? But when I was trying to put back my air, air filter, I found this little piece and uh, like way down below my car and I was like oh shoot what the heck is this so let me know drop a comment down below if you guys know where this piece came out from so yeah um, I'm gonna go back inside now and eat take a shower come back out and put the battery in and hopefully fingers crossed the car turns on so it's been almost two hours since I went back inside took a shower and ate finally able to put back the battery into the car um, everything looks nice, everything looks clean, more clean than it was before. So here's the last step of this whole thing, and that is to see if the car turns on. So let's see. Fingers crossed, please. So the car finally turns on. The AC works, right? Okay, yes, the AC works. So let's actually wait for a few minutes and see if the car stays on for a little bit. Alright, alright, so everything seems okay so far. The car still works. And yeah, so let's go check outside. Alright, it looks nice. And we are good. Good to go. The car has been running for like 15 minutes now and it's good. Nothing has happened yet so I'm super happy that the car still turns on, it still works. And I'm just super excited because this is actually my very first time ever cleaning a car engine. I'm just happy that my car still works. <laughs> Cause like honestly I did not know what I was doing. Just wishing that my car turns on after everything and it did so like I'm just super happy and glad that it still works. And I'm so sorry guys that I have not been like active on Instagram, Facebook, and this channel. I don't have any better way to um, to even like you know explain to you guys why I was absent for a little bit. But like all I all I can tell you guys is that I needed some time off and just to focus on myself. Hey, like I truly believe that we all need some time off of everything or everyone around us or our environment and just really focus on yourself mentally and physically, right? But don't worry, your boy is back. And it's time to make some major gains because 2020 is coming soon. And you guys already know what's going to go down. What's going down on 2020. So, like, I'm just super excited. A lot of things are coming. So, yeah. This video is coming to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, comment, like, and share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Squeeze the G, lead the scene. Bouncing like the trampoline. Getting brighter.